Hey everyone, I'm Chris with Dream Studios. I am back with a new exciting video. I can't wait to show you, so let's go ahead and get started. Hello my friends. I wanted to film a quick video on 3D printing resins. We've come a long way in the last year or two, and I wanted to show you um, what I've been using to make non-brittle 3D prints very strong. And we're also talking about achieving resin prints that are slightly flexible, that are nearly unbreakable. We are way past the days of brittle 3D prints, resin 3D prints, that, um, that you can drop on the ground and it breaks into 15 pieces. We are over those days. Let me show you what I've been doing recently in the last six months or so to achieve extremely strong results. I primarily in the old days was using Elegoo Standard Gray, a standard um, photopolymer resin. This is kind of like the, um, the cheap brand, very good resin, but used by itself can yield parts that are a little bit easy to break if you're dealing with very thin parts. What I've started using is ABS-like. This is their photopolymer 2.0. Extremely strong resin. I'll demonstrate this. Parts that are printed straight with this. I'm also going to be showing you the Soriatech Tenacious. This is their Tenacious brand. This is an agent that gives your parts flex. If you printed straight with Tenacious, it's extremely bendy. Too bendy for my needs. So what I do is I mix it, not in a very specific ratio. Sometimes parts will need 10%. Sometimes they'll need 5% tenacious. Sometimes I'll do with 30% tenacious. I'll show you the results of that. So I can mix this tenacious with either my standard gray, which is the least expensive resin, or I can mix it with the ABS-like. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a combination of tenacious plus the ABS-like. Although you get very similar results with the standard, but this is my favorite combination here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do in my vats to mix these. Here I am in front of my Jupiter. I'm going to make a part that has some flexibility to it. So I am mixing in tenacious. You can see my max fill line. Maybe. It's kind of dark in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill that to the max fill, so I'm probably going to add about 8%, probably less than that, so it's probably about, this is probably about 6 or 7% of that tenacious, and the way I do it, you can use a spatula, but I'm wearing, I've got a gloved hand here, so I'm just going to stir this in really well. I usually stir this around for a good minute or so, get a nice mix. You can also mix a little bit of Tenacious in your reserve tank, just to keep it flowing on the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and finish mixing that up and start our part, and let's see what kind of flexibility we have in addition to the strength. By the way, this is being mixed with the Elegoo ABS-like. So it's going to be super strong with flexibility. All right, here we are outside. I'm going to do a couple stress tests, brake tests. This is a pretty thin part. This is from uh, my Batteries Not Included Babies Robots projects. And we're over concrete. And I'm going to go ahead and drop that guy. He's doing just fine. And let me drop him again, this time from, from up way up here, how, much higher. Dropping from about six and a half feet. There's the bounce test. Doing fine. Okay, this time I think I'll toss it up in the air, uh, up above uh, roof line. So he's up. And just fine. So this gives you an idea. You don't have to worry anymore about dropping your parts on the ground because they are extremely strong. I mean, in the old days, you could just drop this off of... Uh, a bench top and it would smash but I mean I'm holding it way up here giving it a toss and it is not breaking 
Now with this guy, he's got really thin walls. I don't know if you can tell how thin those walls are. But we're going to go ahead and give him a drop test. In the old days, this would smash into so many parts. But now, no worries. Even this guy, this tiny little thing, stayed intact. So there is a small example of these... I mean, just, it won't, it won't break, you know? And you can break it, I mean, but it takes a hell of a lot more to break these parts nowadays. So if you're 3D printing uh, delicate pieces, I recommend switching to these uh, resins, the ABS-like, and if you want it a little bit more flexy, mix in a little bit of this Tenacious. Let's have a quick look at this piece. Now, this is something you would definitely not want to drop in the old days, but... I've got a little bit of uh, Tenacious in with this piece with, I think this one was standard Elegoo, not the, uh, not the ABS-like. But still, I mean, I can, I can bend these tines, not worry about, about breaking this. Um, let me go ahead and cut to a video made by my buddy Titan Ross. Um, he's a spokesman for, I believe it's Monocure Resins, and uh, you tense, he's using a tensile strength resin in this uh, example, but you will not believe the strength of that resin. Let's check that video out. Okay, so printing this in tensile, so uh, pretty strong stuff. Um, I've already dropped this twice and thought I would break these, but these are actually really strong. So this is a great resin uh, for little uh, finicky pieces like this, like even these little tiny bits right here. Like I can push down on that right down. <laughs> so good stuff. I can't even really try to break that even if I wanted to break that. But yeah, that is tensile resin. Look at that. <laughs> so I can bend it all the way down and whoop, straight back up. It'll just uh, reposition itself, but that is tensile resin. Pretty impressive. I am not worried about these breaking anymore. It's such a relief to have these new generation resins. Boy, it's hard to do this with one hand, but I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to bend this this part out. You see, that normally that would just snap normally, but not anymore. I wouldn't recommend doing these to your parts. I'm just giving you some examples, but I'm going to downright just throw this one at the ground. No problem. I am just throwing it down. One piece, just fine. One more, one more throw. I just, I can't break this part. This is a fine example of the... Uh, the uh, ABS like uh, with a little bit of the tenacious mixed in. I mean, won't break. Perfect every time. I mean, hard down. Won't break. One more. One more. See if I can get this to bounce. Yeah. I can. I can throw this all day long, and it just—it's not going to break. Down hard. Perfect. Unbelievable strength. Again, another really thin piece, extremely thin. Give it a drop, just fine. So there is a small example of strength you can achieve with some of these new resins. I'm sure they'll evolve over the next year or so. We'll have even stronger resins. So gone are the days of brittle resin. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy this content, be sure to hit subscribe, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next video.